Envisioning the future automobile, the dawn of the jet age, and the space race inspired U.S. automakers to come up with some radical concept cars. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 10 futuristic American concept cars that defined the 1950s and 60s. Hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. Starting with number 10 in this list, the 1951 GM LeSabre. A car that came at the very beginning of the decade is one that perhaps resembles a fighter jet the most, which was a key aspect of the 1951 GM LeSabre's philosophy. With the jet age beginning, one aircraft that led the charge was the 51 F-86 Sabre, which inspired the name for the luxury car originally proposed as designer Henry Earle's personal car. The size of American cars famously reached new territory in the 50s, with the Lee Sabre concept most definitely embodying that. The car follows a flowing exterior style to emulate the F-86 Sabre, with the design of the iconic being applied to the front-end grille of the Le Sabre. Despite being the bold, cutting-edge statement, the Le Sabre was still envisioned to be a usable road car. Under the hood was a 3.5-liter V8, producing 335 horsepower and 381 pound-feet of torque, which for its time was mightily impressive considering the sheer size of the car. Number 9, 1953, Chevrolet Corvette EX52. When it comes to the most influential American cars, the Chevrolet Corvette will always be near the top of the list. With the majority of American cars growing in size, the first-ever Corvette concept, the EX52, became an instant hit with the public through its class, elegance, and 30s and 40s-inspired design features. The Corvette EX52 debuted as a dream car at GM's Motorama Auto Show. The first Corvette production model remained largely the same as the EX52 prototype due to it being so well-received. The model actually moved to production just six months after being unveiled, fitted with a 235 cubic inch inline six that was originally nicknamed the Cougar. It was changed to Corvette before the first full-scale model was shown at Motorama in 53. The engine produced 150 horsepower and 223 pound-feet of torque. Number 8. The 1954 Lincoln Futura Moving back to the large full-size cars that defined the 50s, the Lincoln Futura was the ultimate display of what Lincoln was able to achieve and the route they anticipated the future of automotive design to go. The inspiration for the 54 Lincoln Futura is perhaps one of the most unique, with designer Bill Schmidt getting the idea after diving with sharks. The tail fins are as wild as ever on the Futura with striking hard edges being used throughout the car's design. The all-glass roof is another standout feature of the car, taking shape as an entirely panoramic double-dome canopy. Alongside the cutting-edge push-button transmission, the Futura was fitted with a 368 cubic inch V8, producing 300 horsepower and 402 pound-feet of torque. Most famously, the Futura hit the big screens as the 66 iteration of the Batmobile. Number 7. The 1954 Ford LaTosca Another 50s concept car that was heavily inspired by the jet age is the 1954 Ford LaTosca. As with the Lincoln Futura and the GM LeSabre, the LaTosca adheres to the traditional full-size philosophy that took over the U.S. at the time, but includes countless unique design ideas that make the Ford concept car truly one of a kind. The Ford LaTosca puts a strong emphasis on triangular shapes, which is particularly apparent with the canted tail fins and front grille. The reversing lights were also designed to replicate fighter jet tubes, Regarding how you actually move the LaTosca, it was driven via a remote control. Unsurprisingly, the concept car never made it to the road. It was simply created to showcase the potential of the industry's future. Number 6. 1956 Oldsmobile Golden Rocket As you can gather from the name, the 56 Oldsmobile Golden Rocket was created to reflect the best design aspects of both the space race and the jet age. With its sole intent of being an experimental car, the Golden Rocket was smaller than most concept cars of the decade, with aerodynamics being the front-running field of study for the car. The element of the car that resembles the rockets of its time is the rear bumper, with two silver domes on either side of the rear, which creates the bullet-style overall design. Of course, shark fins were also included towards the rear, with the nose of the car featuring a striking triangular vertical grille. The Golden Rocket was powered by a 324 cubic inch V8, producing 275 horsepower. Number 5, 1956 GM Firebird. A milestone in automotive engineering is marked by the completion of General Motors' Firebird II, the first gas turbine family car ever built and tested in the United States. Here, tomorrow's driver might just push a button and the car would literally drive itself. Its electronic receivers would pick up various impulses and roll it along in complete safety. 
Inside the car, a TV screen reveals pertinent travel information and gives highway and weather reports. Without a doubt, one of the most radical concept cars of the 50s came in the form of the 56 GM Firebird 2. Firebird C2 pushed the boundaries of automotive design and technology like nothing before, featuring a unique aerodynamic focused body with a turbine engine that could run on various fuels, including gasoline and kerosene. As well as the Firebird C2 also showcased advanced features like a guidance system that could follow an electronic wire embedded in the road. Like most concept cars from this decade, the Firebird was greatly influenced by the space race and jet age, being as close to a rocket ship as a car could get. Number 4, 1957, Ford Nucleon. A car that opened an entirely new door for the automotive industry was the 57 Ford Nucleon. The idea behind the concept is still something that's advanced by today's standards, with it being powered by a small nuclear reactor that could theoretically power the Nucleon for 5,000 miles without the need to stop. The design of the Ford Nucleon is equally as staggering, coming in proportions that hadn't ever been seen before. Ford's initial idea for the Nucleon was to have it stretch 16.7 feet long and 6.5 feet wide, but only 3.5 feet high. This would have made the Nucleon slightly shorter in height than the most recent road-legal Ford GT and just 2 inches shorter in length than the McLaren Speedtail. Number 3, 1961 Chrysler Turboflight there are very few concept cars that epitomize the futuristic design ideas of the early 1960s, like the 61 Chrysler Turboflight. With its sleek and aerodynamic body, the Turboflight once again captured the essence of the space age, as with the most prominent concepts of the 50s. The car featured a distinctive glass bubble canopy that automatically lifted when the door handle was pulled, with the front end of the car being significantly reduced in features to optimize airflow. Another key design element of the turbo flight was its unique vertical tail fins, which connected to each other to create a distinct rear wing. This design choice not only added to the car's futuristic aesthetic, but also greatly assisted aerodynamic performance. The turbo flight was powered by a cutting-edge gas turbine engine, further emphasizing its advanced and forward-thinking nature. Number 2. 1963 Chrysler Turbine Car the 63 Chrysler turbine car is without a doubt one of the most innovative concepts of the 60s, standing out in a way that most other concepts don't. While the car was definitely a futuristic take on automotive design, it still closely resembles the production cars of its time. The idea of connecting the front to the rear with sleek lines is included still, with further design elements such as jet engine style taillights. The Chrysler turbine car's headline feature, however, was its gas turbine engine. This set the concept apart from conventional internal combustion engines, allowing the car to run on a variety of fuels, as with the GM Firebird 2 and the Chrysler Turbo Flight. The turbine engine was designed to provide a smooth and quiet ride with impressive acceleration and power. Although the gas turbine engines had their challenges, such as high fuel consumption and complex maintenance requirements, the Chrysler turbine car demonstrated the potential for alternative propulsion systems in the automotive industry. Number 1. 1963 Ford Seattleite the 11th The 1963 Ford Seattleite the 11th is considered by many to be one of the most impactful concept cars of all time, fittingly debuting at the 1962 World Fair in New York. Firstly, the design of the Seattleite the 11th resembled the concepts of the 50s with its incredibly long wheelbase, this time around having space for four front wheels. The rear bumper of the car featured an inward triangular design with four large exhaust pipes closely resembling jet engines. Despite looking the part of a car from a sci-fi movie, the real magic of the Ford Seattleite was found inside, with the cabin and engine being packed with innovative, cutting-edge tech. The car featured four steerable front wheels, fingertip steering, and a travel programming computer. Perhaps the most impressive and optimistic feature of the Seattleite, however, was the interchangeable fuel cell power units, supporting Ford's earlier Nucleon concept in promoting a nuclear-powered future.